Today, we're test driving the all-new BMW i5, and we're going to do a fuel economy test to see how well it performs. As you can see right now, we have a full tank of fuel, and on this full tank, our fuel range is estimated to be 354 kilometers before we run completely out of charge. You'll also notice that I've just reset my trip meter and it reads zero. We're going to be driving this over the week and see how many kilometers we complete, and after that, we'll head to the charging station to see how much it costs to charge up, so stay tuned. We just spent the week driving the BMW i5, and we have some numbers here we'd like to share with you. As you can see, we drove a total of 370 kilometers and have a remaining battery range of 14 kilometers. I should also mention that the battery capacity of the BMW i5 is 84.3 kilowatt hours. My driving conditions have been pretty basic. I haven't had the air conditioning or the heating on, but have had the sound system on the whole time. Also worth noting is we spent about 50% of our driving in the city and 50% on the highway, just to give you an idea of how we got the numbers that we did. The cost of electricity in my city is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. To get our total real-world battery range, we'll take the 370 kilometers of driving that we did and add a potential 14 kilometers of battery range. So, 370 kilometers plus 14 kilometers gives us a total of 384 kilometers or 239 miles. That means our actual real-world driving range on a full charge is 384 kilometers or 239 miles. Now let's calculate our cost of a full charge. We'll do that by taking the 84.3 kilowatt hours of battery capacity and multiplying that by our local hydro rate of 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So 84.3 kilowatt hours multiplied by 12 cents per kilowatt hour gives us $10. That means a full charge in the I-5 would cost us $10. Now let's calculate our distance per kilowatt hour. We'll do that by taking the 384 kilometers of driving range and dividing it by 84.3 kilowatt hours. So 384 kilometers divided by 84.3 kilowatt hours gives us 4.6 kilometers per kilowatt hour. That means every kilowatt hour of battery gives us 4.6 kilometers or 2.8 miles of driving. Now let's calculate our cost per kilometer. We'll do that by taking the 384 kilometers of driving range and dividing it by our cost of a full charge, which is $10. So $10 divided by 384 kilometers gives us 2.6 cents per kilometer. That means every kilometer in the I-5 costs us 2.6 cents. Now let's calculate our cost per mile. We'll do that by taking the 239 miles of driving range and dividing it by our cost of a full charge, which is $10. So $10 divided by 239 miles gives us 4 cents per mile. That means every mile in the I-5 costs us 4 cents. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our channel for more great battery economy content. We also have reviews on other EVs, such as the Toyota BZ4X, BMW i4, BMW iX, Kia EV6, Nissan Aria, Volvo XC40, Ford F-150 Lightning, Ford Mustang Mach-E, Genesis GV60, and the Chevrolet Bolt. If you're interested in hybrids, we have fuel economy reviews on the Toyota Prius, Toyota Camry Hybrid, and Honda Accord Hybrid. You can watch those videos on our YouTube channel.